Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from St. Michael, Minnesota. Woot woot! So you guys know that I'm traveling tomorrow. I'm headed to Kansas to visit my aunt with my mom and my sister. We're going to see my aunt, my cousins, and so we are up in Minnesota to fly out of Minneapolis to Kansas City and I have a friend that I met online through stamping and her name is Terry Sampson and she graciously invited us to stay at her log cabin retreat the night before we leave. Is that not crazy? So it was funny because she messaged me and said, hey, you're coming to Minnesota and if you want to stay up here, you can. And I was like, I messaged her back. I'm like, really? Because I might do that. <laughs> and so here we are. I am in Terry's retreat. I am sitting at her stamping table. And I just wanted to show you the cute decorations behind me. Look at all of the corks. That's Those are empty letters. Whoops, I can't do it backwards. <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> empty letters up there that she is filling up with wine bottle corks. Woot woot. <laughs> Hi Marsha. Hi Sandy. Lori. Lisa. Pam. I see everybody popping on here tonight. So anyways, I am in St. Michael, Minnesota, and um, I love the setup that Terry has here. Like, I feel like so much space, and I was telling her about how my stamp room is, seems to be closing in around me because I keep having to get more things, don't we all? <laughs> and um, I really need a bigger room. So if my husband is on here, I need a bigger room. Okay, hi Judy, hi Cindy. Welcome. We've got Lynn on. Great. So I just wanted to introduce you guys to Terry. Terry, come over here. Let me get all my stuff out of the way so I don't kill Terry. We don't want to kill Terry. No. This is Terry Samson. Say hi to the world. Hi, Stampers. Yay. Welcome to St. Michael. Woohoo. Woo yes. And Terry is so sweet. Look at my logo. She got me this mug, and then, I don't know what you call this. What is it? It's like a diffuser ball. It's got, um, it's got like a little rock ball in it that you put essential oils on. Whoops, let me see if I can get it in there. Is this not cute? And she said she hangs hers in her car. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. There's like a little ball inside of there. And then I couldn't go home without something from Minnesota, right? So she's got this coaster <laughs> to go with the owl mug. Oh my gosh. And you should see this log cabin. It is just precious. So Terry's going to have this open to the public soon. Sometime. Soon, yeah, hopefully. Soon to be able to, you can um, talk about it. Tell them. Rent it out. Uh, rent it out for whatever you want. Your, you know, girls get together, conferences, meetings. Just need to hang out, chill. And this is a winter. beautiful, beautiful log cabin. It's got a great big yard. There's walking paths and a mm -hmm. lake out in the back a little ways. And um, the bedrooms are beautiful. I just feel like I'm right at home. We walked in and I'm like, oh yeah, I could totally live here. <laughs> you can stay here. <laughs> yeah, it's nicer than my house. <laughs> it's nicer so, than my house. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'll make sure that I share that information with you when um, Terry ready. is ready to start um, booking dates for this retreat. But it's really um, very very cozy and precious and beautiful and I'm in love like Thanks. I love it so yeah Yay. so thank you very much Terry her oh, generosity welcome. is amazing my mom just oh love thank you Kelly. everybody my mom is here and my sister's here and we're all staying overnight and then this girl who is also a night owl offered to take <laughs> us to the airport and pick us up when we get back. Yay! Stampers no are the nicest people. Seriously, right? <laughs> we are. Yeah. Yes. Thank you Take so much. Take care of each other. This is so awesome. sweet. Okay. Right, stamp on. Thank you okay. so much. All right, you guys. I have some a fantastic project for you tonight. You're not even going to believe it, but you're, you're going to love it. I promise you that. And uh, yeah, Suzette says, it's so sweet of her. It it really is. And stampers are the nicest people. And um, 
I'm glad that she threw out the offer because I like to meet new people. Oh, uh, Marsha says, where in Minnesota? We're in St. Michael, Minnesota, which is about 45 minutes away from the airport. So we were at Mall of America today and I needed to get a new coat. So I actually got two new coats and um, a scarf and that was really fun. And then we had to go to Bubba Gump's to eat lunch. So we did that and I'm really full, but the coconut shrimp are the best. Um, so that was neat. And we didn't spend a lot of time at Mall of America, just long enough to get a couple coats. And look, I was looking for a hat and scarf too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did find um, a scarf at Maurice's, but no hat and mittens yet. So we'll work on that later, but it was, it was fun. I had to throw my coat away last winter because around the sleeves right here, it actually had holes worn in it because I think I had it for three years and I loved my winter coat. But I thought, Kelly, sometimes you just have to let it go. So I actually threw it away because it had holes in it. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do we have going on? I have not been in jail now for a couple weeks. Yay! So that's exciting. And I'm still kind of really being careful about how much I'm commenting and liking people's things because um, Dina was out of jail for a while too and she got thrown back in uh, last week or the week before, I don't remember. So I'm not out of the woods yet. Catherine says she loves coconut shrimp. Oh my Lord, they were so good. So I wanted to let you guys know in case you missed it, I don't know how you could have, but you, um, I have a brand new kit class available with the brightly gleaming suite of products. And let me grab that. I don't remember if I mentioned it to you guys last week or not. I think maybe I might have, but you know, I have no memory. So eh. nobody knows what goes on in my head. But anyways, Brightly Gleaming, the Let It Snow um, online class, though that email PDF will be released on Friday, and that I did a pre-registration two weeks ago, I think, and so um, that was scheduled to go out on the 18th, which is this Friday, and that will come to you. If you purchase that online class, it'll come to you by the 18th. This is the Brightly Gleaming Suite. And I have a kit class. Now my kit class includes a half a pack of the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series Paper in 6x6. Six six. Also um, a package of the foil elements, half a pack of stars, and a full roll of ribbon. And then you have the option to add on the stamp set in the punch pack. The um, kit class is $40.00. And that includes tax and shipping. If you would like to add on the stamp set and the punch pack, it's an additional $57.50 for a total of $97.50. So it's a really good deal. It includes a pre-cut cardstock pack. There are eight total cards, four different designs. You make two of each. It's a really, really good deal. And you're going to love the cards that we made. And then to introduce that class... I had these beauties in case you missed them. Is that not just gorgeous? Yeah, this is using the Brightly Gleaming, that embossing folder, the hammered metal embossing folder, the beautiful ribbon with the copper wording on it, and also those elements and the, and the stars. This is really hard to do because I'm backwards. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful. I made it in that Night of Navy, and then I also made it with Real Red and the Mossy Meadow paper. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Was that Jillian on here? She said she's from the Netherlands. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I have a few cards to share with you from last week. And let me grab them here. I brought them along. I brought a box here to St. Michael, Minnesota, so we could kind of go on as normal. Just because I'm out of town doesn't mean a whole bunch of things should change, right? Right. Okay, this first card I received from Kay Rogers. She's from Michigan. And I want to make sure I have it right set up. Yep, okay, so we've got a cute Halloween card. And she's thanking me for the cherry cobbler twine that she won. She said it was just in time for Christmas. And thank you for adding a nice sparkle to my Sunday nights. What a nice way to end a weekend. You're so welcome, Kay. Thank you for this card. Look at this cute card. 
Are you ready for the really neat part? This is on one of those um, those um, little springy deals. Can you see it in there? Boing. So it moves. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, I knew I could get it to do something really cool. Look at how fun that is. <laughs> so Kay, this is, I had a lot of fun playing with this card. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did play with it. I'm like, oh, look at that. I love things that move. Who doesn't love a card that moves, right? And then I received this beauty from Didi Esplana. D. I should say D, not D. D. This is the um, black ice technique. And is that not gorgeous? I'm trying to get it so that the lights will let you see it. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So, um, D said she wanted to thank me for always being able to answer her questions so promptly and make it easy to understand. She's so glad to be a part of my team and she looks forward to Sunday night live, learning new techniques. And she says she's learned so much and she decorated the inside of her card a little bit there too with that tree stamp. But I love this black ice card. So thank you, Dee. You are just the sweetest. Then I received a card. Oh, somebody just asked a question. Hang on. I'm going to bring you guys up on my screen here so I can see a little bit better maybe. It's so hard to talk and show and read questions. And I try really hard, but I'm not going to lie. It's tricky. And um, Terry was just down here a little while ago talking to me, and I told her, it is really, she goes, that must be so hard. I'm like, it is really hard to try and do all the things. So let me see if I can find, somebody just asked a question. Um, nope, I'm not, oh, Marcia said, wish S you would sell those wiggly things. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? But they don't. <laughs> Uh, next, we have cards up from my friend, Lynn, and I'm looking for Lynn's last name. All she wrote is Lynn from Australia. Isn't she funny? I met her online, and she was one of those sweet people that was, she was taking care of her elderly, ailing mother, and she sent me a message telling me how much she loved watching my videos after a long day taking care of her mom, and that um, I, I don't know how to say it, I kind of helped bring her out of a dark place where she wasn't having a, you know, her time was not good. And how do you, I don't, I don't want to sound like, Ooh, look how great I am, but she was in a bad place. Her mom was ailing and she found my videos and they just, I made her laugh and she watched all of them and she just felt like she knew me. And so she messaged me to tell me that and we've been emailing ever since. And I love her sense of humor. She's hysterical. And I think at one point she said, I feel like I know you and now I'm getting kind of like a stalker, right? Or something like that. So that made me laugh. And um, I just, I, we've become friends. Look at the card she sent Steve. Yeah, this is the card she sent as a sympathy card for Steve. His dad passed away um, last month and she personalized the inside here. This is just beautiful, isn't it? And I love the way she stamped the tree inside the die. Absolutely gorgeous, Lynn. And then she sent two cards to Steve. This one was for his knee, and isn't that just adorable? A little punch art going on there. It says, good day, Steve. Heard you've been feeling a bit crook. Here's some advice from Oz, mate. It's easy, just one word, heel. Dog, heel, get it? <laughs> yeah, so very, very cool. I was so excited to get that mail. I opened it. <laughs> Because I knew it was my from my friend Lynn. Oh, it does say it's to me, but then it said the cards inside were to Steve. So Lynn, thank you so much. And um, I'm so happy to have you as a friend. <laughs> I love getting your emails too. She told me she just went out by Perth to the ocean and spent a few days there. And I love hearing the Australian um, lingo that they speak of. And she'll say, you know, here in Australia, we call this whatever it is and it's been really fun so that was really neat what else is happening um my mom and I and my sister are headed to Kansas City tomorrow and I'm super excited because I lived in Belton Missouri until I was 11 and I have a lot of fond memories from there and 
it's about 30 miles south of Kansas City. So when we fly into Kansas City, we've got a rental car and we're gonna drive down to Belton and I wanna see my old town. And um, my mom says, oh, you're not gonna like it because it's so different now. And it's like, oh, I think I'll like it. <laughs> like, yep, I think I will. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited to be able to do that because there, I do, I have a lot of fond memories growing up there as a child. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. And then we're driving over to Girard, Kansas to visit my aunt and my two cousins that um, I haven't seen one of my cousins in a million years. The other one I saw a couple years ago. And then I saw my aunt last year. So I'm really excited to be able to go and do this. And what do I have coming up this week? Not a heck of a lot. You guys that ordered the Let It Snow um, online class, that was a pre-registration and it will come out on Friday. And Heather just asked, how's my tooth? My tooth is gone. I actually did it. I kind of delayed my appointment by about an hour um, arguing with the dentist and the surgeon because I, I really just didn't think that they needed to pull my tooth out. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> and um, I, I wanted to make sure that, that I was doing the right thing because it was this beautiful crown. It was nice and white and huge. And it's one of my molars back here. And I was like, are you sure? You know, we can send people to the moon, but you can't fix this tooth. Like, come on. And they both, well, the surgeon didn't say too much, but my dentist said, it's a ticking time bomb. And Marcia says I'm over a million years old. Um, and so my dentist said it's a ticking time bomb and my best advice to you is to get it pulled. So I decided to go through with it. And I'm really glad that I did because when the, when the surgeon pulled it out, it actually broke in half because it was cracked. And that's what they thought was wrong with it, but they really didn't know. So my tooth was really majorly cracked. And it was cracked under the gums. So there's like nothing they can do about that. But now the healing is going on and I will, you gotta let it heal for like four months and then I'm gonna get an implant so I don't have a big gaping hole in my mouth. But um, I'm good. It's like, it hardly even is sore anymore and it's healing nicely. So I'm gonna be fine. And actually the time leading up to getting the tooth pulled was way worse than the actual tooth pulling. But you should always try to keep your teeth in your mouth, right? And I've spent thousands of dollars to keep my teeth in my mouth. And so just to pull one out like that, it just made me sick, like mentally sick because it was a beautiful tooth. Anyways, enough about my teeth, you guys. <laughs> a little bit too much information, maybe. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So this week I'm going to be in Kansas. My, I do have a video coming out on Wednesday. Everything that I'm going to show you tonight is going to be posted on my blog tonight so that I can take a couple days and um, have a couple days off. So I will get that all loaded up for you tonight. There's also going to be a project sheet that you can click on and download and print out or save to your computer for this whole project I'm going to show you. So you're going to love that part. And then what else is happening? Oh, we have winners from last week and I did not forget to bring this. So, whew, <laughs> yeah, my packing was crazy. So the winners from um, commenting last week, Cindy Kittner is our winner and Cindy is from Newport, Pennsylvania. Cindy, you're gonna get these beautiful holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And we're actually gonna be using them tonight on the project that we're making. And you guys are gonna be shocked, but I have these done and ready to go in the mail. Then, next we have, are you ready for the next winner? For sharing, don't forget to share. You can click on share right now for sharing. <laughs> Verna says, I hear you from this toothless stamper. Feel like a baby again. No teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. It's weird, right? Um, the, the winner for sharing last week is Nancy Bowles from Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. And Nancy is winning hammered metal embossing folder. Woot! This is just back in stock. These were so popular, they were back ordered. So these are back in stock now. And Nancy, you are gonna love this embossing folder. And then um, the last item I have for giveaway is for placing an order. And the winner is 
Tundra Hudson from Amanda, Ohio. Let me get this out. To Every Season Tundra, this cute little stamp set has so many beautiful sentiments in it. And then it has all of these little images. You're going to want the Every Season Punch Pack to go with this. So I'm just telling you right now. Tundra, did I say where she's from? Yes, Amanda, Ohio. So congratulations, you guys. Oh, somebody just said they have a whole bunch of implants. My screen is not scrolling the way that it should be, as usual, right? Oh, Norma says she has a number of dental implants. Nice to not have to worry about the teeth anymore. I know, right? I kind of thought about that, Norma. I did. I'm like, oh, well, I won't get any cavities or fillings in these anymore, right? So, yeah, that's good. I blame my father for all of my dental issues. <laughs> and... um even though he's not here anymore, he would say, I know it's my fault. But I think it's kind of hereditary. And my dad had a full upper plate in his early 20s. And ugh, yeah, so we didn't come from good teeth. That's why I had to spend a fortune to keep all the teeth that I have. And now they're pulling the darn things out. <laughs> okay, enough teeth. Um, let's see. I think we're ready to stamp. Now, this is a new setup for me here tonight. So let me get a couple things moved out of the way. And I am going to, whose is, that's mine. I have to make sure that I don't steal any of Terry's supplies because I'm afraid, like, this is her take your pick tool. She laid out this whole thing. She put, she bought apples and snacks for the refrigerator. And she gave me and my mom and my sister all a gift. She is so generous. It's amazing. But I want to make sure I don't steal her products because when I pack up, right, some of this stuff isn't mine. So I'm trying to be really careful about that. Oh, let me put my little diffuser back in my mug so I don't lose that. And I have a gift for her too. So um, I hope I remember to show you at the end what it is. All right. Let me move my laptop over here. Get some of my products. Oh, and then Terry. Whoops. Whoops. Things are falling. By the way, I'm sitting in a Serta, I think she called it a Serta chair, and it is so comfortable. I said, I would really like to have this chair. Terry's got some of this new grid paper that is just beautiful, and I don't know, I think it's available to the public, I'm not sure. I'll have to check into that, you guys, if you'd like to get some. We're going to flip our camera around now, I think we're ready. I'm gonna flip our camera around, so if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes, I'll tell you when to open them up. I'm going to do this. Yep, that was pretty seamless. Let's see if I can do this without disconnecting you all. So yeah, Terry has everything set up here. I did not have to bring my um, tri my my phone stand or anything. She's just like, I've got everything set up and ready for you. Bless her heart. And we're going to unmirror our screen. Let's see if I can do that without disconnecting you. And... There we go. Oops, I turned it around. Hang on. We'll get this figured out. Here we go. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me move this. I don't want you guys. I got some phone numbers here that I need to call some people. Oops. Hang on. I just knocked something in the garbage. Oh, you're on the ceiling. There we go. What? Oh. Yeah, we're good now, right? Oh, wait, okay. Okay, we're good. All right, this is the new grid paper. Do you know if this is available to the public? I don't know. I think so. I think it is, too, but you get a whole big pack of it. One side is the red, and the other side is this pretty green. And how pretty of a, um, a placemat to be stamping on, right? So before I forget, I've got a new host code going on right here. If you do decide to place an order with me, this is the code you're going to want to use. You can always find that in the right-hand column on my blog, and my blog address is right here. Okay, I'm going to see if I can scroll up. <laughs> Charlene, you're hysterical. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here comes our project. Now, Big, huge shout out to my team member, Kathy Miller. Kathy Miller, hang on, I'm looking for something. Oh, here it is. Kathy Miller put together this whole thing for me. And you know what? 
it's a good thing to surround yourself with good fabulous amazing people and I think that's what I have done from Terry here who has invited us to stay at her retreat um, to my t my team member and my friend Kathy Miller because she put this whole project together for me tonight um, which really let me get a lot of other things done so I could get out of town for a few days to Christine who's also a member of my team Christine actually made the project and gave the information to Kathy so then she could make the project. So it's just a big network of good people working together to work smarter and not harder. So let's get on with our project. I'm gonna be using the Gather Together. Now the idea that I'm sharing tonight, you could use with any suite for any occasion, holiday, whatever. And then there's a little twist that I like to put on to um, a project like this and I'll talk about that a little later I hope I don't forget don't let me forget you guys don't let me forget to say what I was gonna say at the end I know that's hard right so here comes our project and what we are going to do is we're gonna make a set sampler and this is actually a work of art here is a nine by nine shadow box frame. I hope the glare is not too much from the lights. Um, this is a shadow box frame. You can get these at Michael's. They're two for, I believe, $14, Kathy told me. And again, Kathy got all of these. I'm gonna put this up here. There's also gonna be a photo of this information and a photo of the front of this on my blog as soon as we can get this video uploaded to YouTube tonight. I will be posting all of this information for you. But this is a nine by nine frame. And of course you can adjust these projects to anything or any size. We have all of these little bits and elements here and we are going to make a set sampler. And I think I am going to start with this middle piece first. And I need my glue. Here's my glue. I just got a brand new bottle of glue. We're gonna, we're gonna take the, um, this is the Come To Gather Designer Series paper. And this piece is two and, whoops, hang on. This piece is, Hang with me, hang with me. I don't know what size it is, but it'll be in the instructions. How about that? It has to be two and three eighths. Yeah, it's two and three eighths by seven and 15 sixteenths. And all of these instructions will be on my blog later tonight. So you do not have to write a whole bunch of stuff down. I just want you to know that, but you're certainly welcome to if you want. So this piece was two and three eighths by seven and 15 16 so we're just going to add this to a sahara sand layer and that layer is two and nine sixteenths by eight and an eighth again all dimensions going to be on my blog so we've got that done then we are going to take letters that kathy bless her heart <laughs> she die cut for me out of the prose what is that called the hand lettered prose dies. So I've got all these little elements. I'm going to show you how to put these together. Look at, she put notes on everything for me. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I have surrounded myself with the best people ever. And I, I'm so grateful and blessed to have these people helping me out. Right? So we're going to spell gather in here. And so I'm just going to do a little dry fit. Oh, Jody says that grid paper is available to the public. So I will put the grid paper in with the shopping list so you have a code. Or if you're going to do in an online order, just type in grid paper and it'll show you anything we have available in the search engine for grid paper. Okay, so this is going to say gather. Now remember, this is going to be a fall sampler. Gather. Okay, that looks really nice. I think I'm going to move it. Move this over just a little bit. If you need to, just lick your finger. I know it sounds gross to know that there's spit on here, but sometimes there is, and we all do it. I know we do. Too much information? Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, doesn't that look nice? All right, then 
we've got all these little spriggy things. And these come from the Bouquet Bunch set of dies. And of course, you're just going to go through your dies and die cut whatever you want. Uh-oh. I only see one in here. Hang on. Well, maybe we'll find some more, but I only see one of these in this little packet. But you want to have a whole bunch of them. And I'll show you the finished product, so don't worry about that. I don't know what happens to the rest of them. Okay, so we're going to take a bunch of these, and we're going to put a bunch of these in Pretty Peacock and also Mint Macaron. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of them right up here. I'm going to go off the top just a little bit, and then we have... Did I spill them? Yay, I spilled them! Oh, Terry is under my feet picking these up. Where's just the rest one. of them? Oh, just one. Well, they're here someplace because I know Kathy made them. We'll find them. Don't worry. And I will show you the finished product, too, so you'll know how beautiful it is with all of them on there. All right. Yeah. Sandy says, Kathy rocks. You darn right, Kathy rocks. She's amazing. Okay. And then we've got, this is the smallest little stitched rectangle shape, and she's already stamped together and give Thanks. So that's beautiful. This is coming from the Painted Harvest stamp set. This greeting is. And that's another one of my favorites from, mm, I think it was a couple years ago that one came out. Super, super pretty stamp set. Great for fall projects and summer projects because it makes a beautiful flower. But I love the font in these words. I hope you can see that really good. All right, I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals here. And add those to this layer. Oh, by the way, you guys, Haley's wedding video, they just got their wedding video back, and she let me watch it, me and her grandma. Holy cow, it had us both in tears, not lying. It is so cool. So as soon as she makes that available to the public, like I'd like her to post it herself on Facebook, I will share that with you guys and you're going to, you're going to, it's just the coolest video ever. I loved it. So I will have that to share with you. And we're going to push this down so that G's kind of coming off of our layer here. And if you wanted to, you could pop these up on some slivers of dimensionals. That would be really cool looking, but for, um, <laughs> that was Terry's phone mooing like a cow. Um, you could pop these up on dimensionals, but for time purposes tonight, I'm not going to, cause that's time consuming and I don't want anybody to fall asleep. You could possibly fall off your chair, hit your head. No stampers will be injured in the making of this project tonight. That's what I've got to say. So, we're just going to use glue. Oops, I've got glue on my fingers now. And everything's going to stick to them. Here we go. Okay, there's our gather. Now, look at Terry. It just came over here to give me a baby wipe. Bless her heart. Thank you so much. Oh, look it. Here's the rest of the sprigs. You guys, did you? Oh, you couldn't see them down there. They're just laying right on my table. Uh, I'm glad I found them. Thanks for the wipes, too. Perfect. Okay. So, you're going to just alternate these. Oops. Get some more glue in there. And we're going to put another one on here. Oops. These are the rest of the sprigs. These summer mint macaron, summer pretty peacock. And I'm glad I only put the amount of um, dimensionals in there. Is there another one? Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> glad it's not a snake. I'd be in trouble. Maybe I'll just put this one over here. So Kathy alternated these. She did... Peacock, mint, peacock, mint, peacock, mint. But obviously I didn't do that because I didn't think I had them. But I knew she sent, she gave them to me. Okay, so we're done with this layer now and we're going to just set this aside. Now I'm going to bring in 
this layer and again all the dimensions for this are going to be on my blog so I'm not going to take the time to read off all those dimensions but we're gonna take this this was run through the woodland um, embossing folder let me see oh pinewood planks pinewood planks embossing folder you can see the texture on there and we're going to just glue this right onto a bigger piece of the designer series paper. And then we've got um, one of these wood elements. Now, one side has like the log, slicey, aging rings on it, whatever you want to call it. And the other one is plain. We're going to use the plain side. And we are going to stamp that with Season of Thanks. And guess what? Terry has this whole stamp set mounted and ready for me to use. So, ah, uh, hello. I wish she lived closer to me. <laughs> That's for sure. We're going to take and stamp the Season of Thanks right on this log. Now, I'm going to put the hole over to the side and up at about mm, 11, 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Ink it up with early espresso ink. We're going to do that right there. And then, do you have the combo ribbon pack, Terry? Up there. Okay, good deal. All right, I'm going to take a piece of this. And I'm going to take some of the um, linen thread. This is Cajun Craze linen thread. And I'm going to tie that right through that little hole. And I think that I could actually do two of these. I can double this bow up and do two of them in there. Because I, I think I cut it long enough to be able to do that. So this is just going to make it a lot more substantial than one strand. You guys know that I like substantial, right? So you would want to tie this in a bow. I don't know if I'm going to have enough here to tie in a bow. I'm going to try though. We'll see. It's not looking good. <laughs> Never one to give up. Nope. Couldn't do it. Well, it's pretty close. So tie that in a really nice bow. We'll fix that later. Oh, well that's kind of cute, isn't it? Okay. Then we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this and we're going to stick it to this little square. So we're going to make all of these little squares and we're just really decorating them all different. So there's another square. So we've got this big one done and this little one done. Now we're going to go with, what does this say, uh, wheat stamp with espresso ink. Okay. Yep. And Terry has a wheat stamp here for me. Yay. And we're going to ink that up in espresso ink. And this is the designer series paper that looks like burlap with the um, Mary Merlot on the back. And I'm going to do wheat. And I'm just going to stamp a lot of wheat. There we go. Then we're going to bring in some of the elements. These beautiful die cut and embossed leaves and I'm going to glue this one to this one just like that I'm going to take a little bit of ribbon and I'm going to add that right here now I have to show you Terry's tape dispenser because it's really cute. Are you ready? My mom got a kick out of it too. It's a high heel. Is that not adorable? Yeah. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape. You could also use mini glue dots if you don't have any tape on your desk. You guys know I always have tape on my desk so Terry knows that too and she had this sitting here just waiting for me. Okay so we're going to do a little bit of ribbon there. Then I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and take the leaves. I'm just going to put a couple mini glue dots on here so that they'll stick nicely. 
And we're just going to put those leaves right in there. And then, for sure, oh, here's, oh, I was looking for, all right, and, oh, this is what I'm looking for right here. Look at, Kathy even tied these for me, you guys. I know, like, I'm a spoiled brat. That's what I am. Seriously. This woman, like I said, I surround myself with fabulous people, and this is just a testament to that. So we've got a linen thread bow. Look how super cute that is. Now, there's one thing that's happening right now that I don't like. And my leaves are kind of flopping around, right? So I'm just going to take a mini glue dot and I'm going to put it in under that ribbon. So I'm going to just slide it right down in here so that ribbon does not flop around. And I solved my problem. Boom. We need a piece of Sahara sand to go under this. And this one's ready to go in our shadow box frame. How am I doing? Oh my gosh, I have almost 400 viewers. That's amazing. Oh, somebody said it's the first time watching. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you could tune in tonight. I always love to hear that. Next, we are going to take a piece of Pretty Peacock. This pumpkin square with the gingham on the back and I am going to add oh nope that doesn't fit hang on I know Kathy had these all in order Kathy I just completely jacked it all up so just know that yeah she's going oh Kelly I knew you would do that hang on a second this piece needs to go this piece is just a little too big, which leads me to believe that I put the glue on the wrong piece. So, yep, this one fits fine. Maybe there's another piece here. Is this the same size? Yep, it is. So, I'm going to just set this one aside because I can't put that in a paper cutter, but I can trim this one down a little bit. So, I'll do that. So I'm going to bring my paper cutter in here and trim this. This is just a sliver. Um, here we go. And that was two and a quarter and two and a quarter. Okay. Let's see if that fits. Perfect. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. And I'm sure Kathy had this right in here. And I, like I said, I just grabbed the wrong one. Which will happen, right? All right, there we go. Then we have With Gratitude. And this With Gratitude is coming from the Itty Bitty Greetings, which is a really neat little set. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this just a little bit because I need it to be a little bit smaller than that. And here we go. And, and Terry just walked over and got out her Come to Gather Designer Series paper in case I need any of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay, here comes those um, Noble Peacock Rhinestones. Oh, I said we were going to use the rhinestones. The rhinestones that I'm sending out as a prize are actually the Christmas ones. These are the Noble Peacock ones, and they have, of course, the gorgeous colors in them. I'm going to use one of these, um, like Bermuda Bay, is that the color, I think? I'm going to put that, no, it's actually Pretty Peacock, sorry, that's what it is, Pretty Peacock. I'm going to put that right here, and that's just a really cute little embellishment, right? So, there you go. Somebody got married today? Who got married? Oh my gosh. Okay, then... Let me put these away. We have pumpkins. And the pumpkins are stamped in mint macaron. And I've got another pumpkin here somewhere. So hang on. I've got to find a pumpkin. Okay, hang on, you guys. i got to get just a little bit more organized. So I'm... Here it is. Yay! I didn't get too organized. Don't worry. I'm not going to disappoint you guys. 
but I know you expect complete chaos from me and I aim to please. <laughs> then we've got the little pumpkins. Now I'm bringing in the big pumpkins. I'm going to cover up that little tall skinny pumpkin. Nobody likes a tall skinny pumpkin. I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to cover that up and put a dimensional. And now isn't that just super simple and cute? Yeah. Oh, Kathy says I will need the checked side of this. Oh, okay. So great. Um, Hey, uh, Terry, yep. can you cut me a square of this again? <laughs> Kathy, thank you. You guys, Kathy Miller, my hero, is online here. My other hero is right here next to me. <laughs> okay, next. We're almost there, you guys. We're going to be done with this in a jiffy. The next one we're going to do, now this is a little different because this is not the Come Together Designer Series paper. This is from the Brightly Gleaming, which is my newest kit class, but look at how beautiful that paper is, and it really matched the color scheme here. So we're going to be using this, and then we've got a copper foil, two copper foil leaves that we're going to use on this layer. So we're going to put one here and one here. Oops, just like that. Let me look at this a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And those are all put on with dimensionals. So let me grab some dimensionals. I'm going to do a dimensional. Uh, let me see what I'm doing here. Right here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, I need people like this all the time. <laughs> it's fun to stamp when everybody else is doing all your work, right? Yeah, that's what those kit classes are good for, too, because I cut all the cardstock for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Kathy asked me when she was making this kit up for me, she says, do you want do you want me to stamp the images, or do you just want me to give you the die cuts? And I said both. And she goes, both? What does that mean? Both. I want you to stamp them and do the images. And I'm glad she did, because I didn't bring a lot of this stuff with me. I do have another box at my house, or at my mom's house, and I think a lot of my things are in there, and so I don't have to stamp anything. You guys know how to stamp some words on a rectangle, right? Oops, I'm going to take that off of there. Oh, no, I'm going to leave it on. Okay, so we've got dimensionals here, and there we go, and this is one, uh, this is the stitched shapes square, and we're just going to put this right down here in this corner and we're going to grab those rhinestones again and add another one of these noble peacock rhinestones and if you guys don't have any of these I highly recommend that you add them to your order because nobody should be without these like nobody look how beautiful they are they just make me happy like there's a whole rainbow of colors here everyone should own them okay so here is, uh oh, where did my other, here they are. Here comes my Sahara sand. Yes, Sahara sand. And I'm going to glue the brightly gleaming, isn't that brightly gleaming paper beautiful with the leaves? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is a little crooked. Oh, I don't know if it'd really be my project if it wasn't a little crooked, would it? Hang on. This moved on me. Oh, my lord. Let me put some more glue on here. It's starting to get too sticky. It's terrible when your glue is too sticky, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Just want to make sure this is centered. There we go. Okay. I don't like this. This is not, there we go. All right, hang on. Now it's straight. Yes, look at how pretty that is. Is that not gorgeous? Yeah. Okay, next we're gonna take another piece of the gingham. Thank you, Kathy, for telling me that it wouldn't work if I didn't have another piece of that. And I've got the Everyday Label Punch. And Kathy and I actually sat down and she showed me how to do all this stuff because she is the rock star here. So I am going to, I need this to be smaller. I want this to be square and this is a rectangle shaped punch, right? So I'm going to 
put this in here, maybe. See how good I can do. Well, let's try it this way. Feed it in from the side and then pull it up. And I'm just going to add it down in here until I get it to the size that I want. Boom, look it, now we have a square instead of a rectangle. Is that not genius? That is genius. All right, we are going to use one of the little feathers here. So I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot and I'm gonna add this little feather. Oh, we gotta do a little sponging. Well, how about this? We're gonna do a little dipping. Oh, I need pretty peacock. You want a sponge? Yeah, if you have it, I will take a sponge. We're gonna sponge the edge of this a little bit. So while we're getting that, we can glue our gingham paper to our Sahara sand. I have to tell you that Terry's um, studio here is so organized. She's got everything in its place and all labels on everything. I'm I'm really out of my element <laughs> because you guys know that I'm not so much. You want quarters? Just a quarter. Okay. A quarter this quarter? Yep, that's good. And pretty peacock. Ink. Look, it's coming. because it's right in its slot where it belongs. All right, we're gonna take this. And yeah, Kathy Miller saw me pack up all this stuff. It must be in my other box, because I certainly would have totally messed that up. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Yay! All right, and we are going to take the backing off of the dimensionals and add this right to the middle of our gingham layer. And it says, enjoy the little things. Where is this coming from? This is coming from the Friend Like You stamp set. Now, I've got a mini glue dot on this side of the feather, and now I'm going to put a mini dimensional right next to it so that it kind of holds it up. Because this is raised up, this is gonna go on the gingham. I'm just gonna put this right in place right there. Is that, isn't that sweet? Super, super cute. Okay, there's another layer. And guess what? We only have one left. That's right, you guys, one layer left. So here comes, um, this is the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper. If you took advantage of that buy three, get one free, you could have got this, one of these was in that special. So we're gonna take this and then Kathy put in a big layer of Sahara sand for me here. And she stamped it with the beautiful copper ink and die cut it with the leaf die. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to add that to this wood grain layer. And again, I'm just going to have that going off the sides and the top just a little bit. And then we've got a mint macaron and a pretty peacock die cut leaves going down in here. And again, I'm just gonna add some glue and put that right here. And then the pretty peacock, same, oops, I wanna get that glue on the back. You wanna see the beautiful embossing on the front. We're gonna put that right there. And then Kathy told me to bring my stamp pumpkin. Yep. She told me to bring my um, Stampin' Blends, and I did, but this pumpkin's already stamped, and it's colored, and she did a really good job, and so I would feel really bad if I didn't use this pumpkin. <laughs> there, I'm lying, but it just is easier, right? So, we're going to put a couple little dimensionals on here. And then we're gonna put that pumpkin right down here in the corner. Now we need to get this on our Sahara sand layer because all of these are on a layer of Sahara sand. And here that comes. Okay. And then, 
he shows a piece of regular linen thread as a bow on here, but I happen to have this one left over, so I'm going to use it, and it's going to be beautiful because I don't think it really matters which one you use, right? This is going to be cool too. Yeah, look at how cool that is. Look at how cool that is. You guys ready to put this thing together and see what the heck I'm doing? I think you are. Okay, let's get out this piece. This is our background that's going to go behind all of these elements. And this is um, Pretty Peacock in eight and a half by eight and a half. So now we're going to bring in our elements. What are you guys drinking tonight? <laughs> Kathy Miller says, always got your back, girlfriend. I know you do, Kathy. I know you do. I have good people. Okay, here comes our elements. What's everybody drinking? I'm drinking my strawberry lemonade. Yeah, and it's delicious. And it's got caffeine in it. I'm not going to lie. Because after you eat at Bubba Gump's and shop at the Mall of America and then come home and do a Facebook Live, whoops, you might be a little tired. Okay, I'm missing my Sahara Sand for this one. And I have this giant piece here, so I'm just going to cut it with the paper cutter. So we're going to take this and, whoops, I got it upside down. Use your paper cutter right side up. This is two and a half C a little bit more by two and a half C a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to cut this at. And we'll see, because if I mess this up, Terry is standing by to get me more cardstock. <laughs> she knows. She's like, she's like this. She's like, do I need to run for cardstock? I got it. I got it. Woohoo! Okay. All right. I'm winning tonight. Now I'll jinx myself. Okay, here we go. We're going to glue this on here. I forgot that I didn't have this on a piece yet. And Kathy, I'm sure it's in here someplace. I just, like, messed it up. And I wasn't good when I took the things out of your packet. She knew I would do that. She's like, Kelly, I knew you would do that. She's going to dump it out, and then she's going to be all confused. You know how I operate. Here we go. So, look at this. Isn't this turning out to be so pretty? <laughs> Sandy says I'm too spoiled. I know. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm feeling really spoiled. Okay, here comes another one. Here's this one. Can you guys see all of this? I think you can. Here comes this one. And then this little jewel goes right in the middle. What do you guys think? Is that not amazing. Like this is beautiful. So I told you there was a few things I was going to tell you about this. Now, I told you at the beginning that this came from, the sampler idea came from my downline Christine and um, she found it on Pinterest. She changed a few things. Then my downline friend Kathy she took this and she changed a couple little things. Oh, she trimmed these off, she told me. Snip those little things off because they're kind of ugly down there. Just meh, there you go. Um, she changed one or two things about it. And then she made this for me so I could do it for you guys. So it's a whole collaboration of all of us working together to bring you all of this loveliness. Now. I had my stepdaughter, Anna, last year said to me, Kelly, you know those things you make us that you frame? Can you make some more of those? Because those are my favorite Christmas decorations that I get out. Like those are her drop dead favorites. So let me tell you about what I make. If you guys go back and look in December at my blog, there's a snowflake picture. And I think I made it out of Blackberry Bliss and silver or gold or something. I think it was silver and blackberry, but it was beautiful. And it, it was um, little elements like this and little blocks and whatever. But in some of these, instead of having all the stamping elements, I put a black and white picture of Haley and Jared together ice skating. I put a black and white picture here of Haley and Jared together with their cat. 
So you can change out some of these panels, like take this panel out and put a black and white picture or a colored picture on it of the people you're giving it to as a gift. Does that make sense? This is something that I love to do for my kids, my stepkids. I've made them for my mom. And they cherish these. And all I'm doing is my paper crafts, right? So let me show you. This is the finished product in the actual frame. And again, these frames, if you came on late, let me find my frame. These frames are from Michaels. This is what they're called. They're a nine by nine studio decor frame shadow box. Here's the back panel. I'm also going to have pictures of this on my blog. When I get this downloaded to my computer, this video, and then uploaded to YouTube, I will, I will share all of this on my blog. There's also a downloadable project sheet just like this that you can print out with all the ingredients dimensions and some instructions so you get the whole enchilada here this is thanks to Christine I did not type this up she did so that's gonna be available also and who isn't gonna love this like who isn't gonna love this so I have some um, really cool news is that I am actually gifting this to Terry for having us here to um, stamp at her scrapbooking stamping crafting retreat so this is gonna be my gift to Terry and I also have um, three more of these that are made that I'm taking to Kansas to give to my aunt and my two cousins all thanks you guys to Kathy Miller she rocked it this week. Like, I don't know what I'd do without her. She's also the one who helps me with all of the kit classes and the pre-cut cardstock packs. She loves to do stuff like that. And believe me, I um, appreciate her more than I could ever tell you guys. But this is going to be my gift to Terry and also my gift to my aunt and my cousins. And I'm just so thankful that I am able to do that thanks to Kathy Miller because without her this week I don't even know if I would have been able to leave the house <laughs> I left um I was actually gonna leave on Thursday morning to go to my mom's house to go bow hunting and I actually didn't even get out of the house until two o'clock on Friday like I had so many deadlines I needed to meet before I left for this trip that <laughs> and then I didn't get to go bow hunting you guys because it was so windy here in Wisconsin it was super windy on Friday and then on Saturday it snowed like crazy and it was windy and cold and crummy and then today we left for Minneapolis so yeah does anybody have any questions that I missed because I was really concentrating here I couldn't like monitor all that <laughs> which is pretty much my status quo you guys know that right yeah so what's on sale through Monday Sarah says something's on sale through Monday oh yeah the frames at Michaels they're seven they're two for fourteen dollars so they're like seven dollars a piece Connie Ward says she loves the frame this would make a wonderful hostess gift for Thanksgiving yeah it certainly would and um, it's just paper, right? We do this with our paper crafts, which is just amazing to me that we can make such beautiful things. It's just paper and a little bit of ribbon. So um, think about that for Christmas presents. Think about making a Christmas one. You could put Joy here or Noel or, you know, you could put whoever you're giving it to. You could put their last name if it's not super long, like Haley's new last name is Fink. So we could put Fink right here and snowflakes and Christmas stuff and then a couple pictures of her and Jared in here um, same for Anna a couple pictures of Molly and Andy and they just bought they're moving into a new home next weekend I have to make one of these for them too and maybe put the, their picture in here someplace moving into their new home or something these are just a fantastic gift idea and they will be treasured by your friends and family I'm not kidding you're gonna you're gonna love it when you make these all right now, don't forget, if you would like to order any of the supplies or anything that Stampin' Up! sells here, 
This is my current host code and you can always find that in the right hand column on my blog which is right here. If you are new to all this and you don't have a Stamping Up Demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. Ask for the new catalogs, I'd be happy to send them to you. And if you want to get all of your product at a discount, you should become a discount shopper with me on my team and be part of so, something so much bigger than just sitting at home stamping by yourself. Being part of my team is a lot of fun. I see a lot of my team members on here tonight watching this Facebook Live. And um, I know that they love being on my team, and you will too. And if you're going to get into this, let's face it, ladies, this is not a cheap craft, okay? You're going to spend some jack, and you should be getting a discount. I'm just saying. All right. Did I miss anything? Oh, Trudy says, safe travels, Kelly. Um, I am planning on being live next Sunday night. We're actually coming home on Friday, so I won't miss a Facebook Live for you guys. Um, I'm planning on being home and Cindy says have a fun week and safe travels oh you're so welcome Cindy thank you so much for coming in did you see that you won you won something tonight I'm going to drop those in the mail sometime this week for everybody that won don't forget to share my video I really appreciate it Suzette says yes being on your team rocks thank you so much Mary Olson I miss you Thank you. I will have fun in Kansas. I'm going to put on my red little shoes and click them a few times, see what I can do. <laughs> All right. Kelly's team is boss. Thanks, Carol. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, Bobby, you're so sweet. She says, you have outdone yourself once again. I have surrounded myself with people that have made me outdo myself because, yeah, this is stinking adorable, right? It's just really rich and pretty. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Make sure you check back on Wednesday. I'm going to have my tip of the week and I always share my joke of the week. So don't forget to look at that. I don't know what I, I don't think I have anything scheduled. If you guys have any really funny jokes, don't hesitate to send them to me because I'm always looking for some funny jokes to share on my Wednesday. Wait, what? Tip of the week. All right. Oh, Suzette says she needs a picture of the cabin. I will go around and take pictures and I will load them on my page sometime this week, okay? I'm also going to be sharing a ton of um, photos with you this week. You guys can come on my trip with me. Kathy Brown says, so sorry, I thought you were going to Missouri. I am. We're leaving in the morning and I love you guys so much that I couldn't do without a Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought my stuff with me. I am in St. Mike, St. Michael, Minnesota at Terry Sampson's house where she is letting me broadcast live from her stamping scrapbooking retreat. And I love it. I might never leave. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to post them. I always do try to go back through and look to answer questions. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping here. Don't forget to click like. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And thank you very much for stamping along with me tonight. I hope you make these. And if you make any of these, I want to see them. So you owe me pictures, right? That's my only requirement. If you make any, I need to see pictures. No, I don't have a right to require you to do anything. <laughs> but thank you so much. Bye-bye.